Hello students at Adams. This is Mrs. Ranking, one of the STEM 2's teachers. Today we're going to look at circuits and light bulbs. Before we go on, I want you to make sure that you have the following materials with you. You should have a calculator, you should have a pencil, you should have your worksheet ME 1.7 called circuits and bulb brightness, and you should have a lot of attention for detail today. Because with all those ingredients, we will be able to solve the mystery of the light bulbs. Last week, you looked at a bunch of circuits and we came up with the following questions. The first one was, what determines the brightness of light bulb? And the second one was, how does the circuit arrangement affect the brightness of these light bulbs? So going on to the circuit arrangement, we saw that with a single light bulb, we had a quite a bright light. light. Then when we put another light bulb in series, they became sort of medium. Then when we had two same light bulbs, but we put them in parallel, they were very, very bright. And then finally, we saw a combination circuit where mysteriously the parallel light bulbs were dim and the series one got very bright. Well, today we are going to figure out the answers to our question. The first question, what determines the brightness of the light bulb is actually quite easily answerable. Yes, we have different brightness, but the brightness is determined by one thing, and that is the power. Power means the amount of energy per second, the amount of energy per second that the light bulb absorbs and converts into radiant energy, the light, and a lot of thermal energy, the heat. You've probably felt how warm those light bulbs become. So power is really nothing more than the amount of energy per second that is being absorbed by your light bulb. For electricity, the power can be calculated with the following equation. And it's actually a very easy equation. Power equals, equals voltage times current. And you know the unit of this. It's probably one of the units that you're most familiar with. The unit for power is watts. So we can write this in another way. Power in watts is V for voltage times I. Remember that for later because we will use that equation a lot. Let's get back to the three measures in a circuit. We have voltage. We see here Mr. Volt. Volt is the unit for voltage and it's what pushes the current through the wires and through the circuit. The higher the voltage, the more current goes through the wires or through the circuit. And then we also have the resistance. The more resistance there is, the harder it is for the current to go through the circuit and it will slow the current down. So those are the three measures or quantities that define how electricity works in a circuit. Again, here we have the quantities. Let's first again look at voltage. Voltage is the push when we think about our water analogy. It is the pump that pumps the water through the pipes. The symbol for it is a capital V. The unit of measurement is also a V. And when we want to calculate V, we have to multiply the current by the resistance. Next, we have the current. The symbol for current is the capital I, and the unit for current is amps or milliamps. In order to calculate current, we always have to divide the voltage by the resistance. So if we know voltage and resistance, we can calculate the, the current. If we know current and the resistance, we can calculate the voltage. Finally, we have resistance. The symbol for resistance is the capital R. The unit for resistance is ohm or kilo ohm. And to calculate kilo, uh, resistance, we have to divide the voltage by the current. So let's take a look at our first task. Here we have circuit A with a single light bulb, which is bright. And we have circuit B, which has two light bulbs in series, which are sort of medium brightness. Circuit A has a single light bulb, and circuit B has two light bulbs in series. In the, both circuits, the voltage is 6 volt. 
So let's take a look at circuit A. In this we have 6 volt and we have a light bulb that has a resistance of 2.4 ohms. As a matter of fact, all the light bulbs have pretty much a similar resistance and we'll just all call them 2.4 ohms. So um, at this point we can start completing some of our table for circuit A. So when you go to the next page, you see circuit A here drawn. So our total, oops, our total resistance is 2.4 ohm. So go ahead and write down 2.4 ohms here. Our total voltage drop from here to here is 6 volts. So we can write down 2.4 ohms here and 6 volts there. Now that we know the resistance and the voltage, we can calculate our current. The current is the total voltage divided by the resistance, total resistance. So we can take, say, 6 volts divided by 2.4 ohms, and that will give us the current that goes through the circuit. Take a moment, maybe pause right now, and calculate your current. Once you have your current, you can calculate the power that is absorbed by the bulb. Since there's only one single bulb, the voltage drop over the bulb, so in other words, 6 volts here and 0 volts here, the voltage drop over the bulb is 6 volts, which is the same as the voltage or the total voltage drop. So that's 6 volts. So now we can calculate the power over the bulb which is the v bulb the voltage of the bulb times the power or the i'm sorry the current through the bulb which is six volts times the current that you calculated and you get a power of some watts take a moment to calculate that number Now let's take a look at circuit B, where we have our two light bulbs in series. Remember, the resistance of each light bulb is 2.4 ohms. So on our worksheet, we can simply calculate the total resistance as the resistance of light bulb 1 plus the resistance of light bulb 2. So 2.4 ohms plus 2.4 ohms. You got it. That is 4.8 ohms. So that's a very easy calculation. Go ahead and write that down on your worksheet. The total voltage drop from here to here, so over the light bulbs, because remember the wires don't have a lot of resistance or almost no resistance, so the voltage drop will be practically zero. It will be very easy to move the current along. So it starts really here. It's six volts, and here it will be zero volts. Because these are equal resistances, we can simply calculate the voltage drop over a single light bulb as the total voltage drop divided by 2. So from here it will go from 6 to 3, and then from here it goes from 3 to 0. So the voltage drop over a single light bulb is 3 volts. We need that for our power calculation. Now, now that we get our voltage and our total voltage and our total resistance, we can calculate the total current going through the circuit. So we have V total, which is 6 volts. Remember, from here to here is 6 volts, divided by the total resistance, which you just calculated to be as 4.8 ohms. So 6 volts divided by 4.8 ohm. Yes, calculate it. What will that be? I'll let you write that number down. Whatever your number, what your answer is, is in amps. Now that we have our total current, we also know that whatever goes through light bulb 2 has to go through light bulb 1. Because like in a water hose or a water pipe, any water that goes through 1 has to go through the whole system. So we know that the current is through each light bulb is equal to the total current. So with all that information, we can actually calculate the power that is absorbed by each light bulb. So let's take light bulb 1 here. The V, the delta V, or the, the, the voltage drop over light bulb 1, we had calculated there. That was 3 volts 
times the current, which is the same as the total current. So go ahead and calculate that number and your answer should be again in watts. Did you get a number? Write it down. So now we have calculated the watts for the light bulb in circuit A and you've also calculated the watts, the power for light bulb in circuit B. Take a moment and compare and contrast those numbers. And then answer the question using your numerical evidence from your data. And by that, me, by, by that I mean use the power that you have calculated for circuit A that goes through a light bulb in circuit A and the power uh, of the light bulb in circuit B and compare those and explain why the brightness of the light bulbs is different for circuit A and B. Maybe good time to pause here and then write that answer before we go on to our parallel circuit. Let's take a look at the parallel circuit, task two. You should now be on page two of your worksheet. Circuit A looks very familiar, the one that we just looked at. So at this moment, I'm going to let you complete this part because you should be able to do that. It'd be nice if you can do that without looking back, but if not, then um, look back, but complete that. So you should be able to put in the R total, 2.4 ohm, the V total, which is 6 volt. The V bulb is the same as V total. So again, 6 volts. You can calculate the current, etc., and the power of the bulb. Take a moment to complete that. Before we go on to the parallel circuit, I want you to take a moment and think back at the water analogy. Let's take a look. Here we have a dam with one door open. We can call that a door. You see this door in the middle here. Um, what do you think will happen to the water flow if we say open this door? Well, you got it, right? It will double the water flow. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind as we are thinking about parallel circuits. So now we have two light bulbs in parallel. That means that twice as many electrons or twice as much current can flow through this circuit. And that is very different from the series circuit. So first, we can calculate the total resistance. And as you can imagine, now because there are two pathways instead of one, uh, it's almost like opening two doors instead of one door, right? So twice as much current can flow. So our resistance is halved. So the total resistance equals the resistance of one light bulb. And because they are equal in size of resistance, so it re equals the resistance of one light bulb divided by two. So the total resistance of this system or of this circuit is 2.4 divided by 2. So take a moment to write down your answer there. That should be 1.2 ohms. The total voltage, voltage is still 6 volts. And the way it works out in parallel circuits is there will be 6 volts here and then it will drop to 0 over here because it's 6 volts here and 0 volts over there. So over this light bulb it will be 6 volts and over this one also. So the V, the voltage drop over the first light bulb is the same as the total voltage. Remember that for our power calculation. Now we need to take a look at the current. The current total we can now calculate. So that's the V total which is 6 volts divided by our R total the total resistance, which is 1.2 volt, uh, two, I'm sorry, 1.2 ohms. So 6 divided by 1.2 ohms, now that allows you to calculate the total current, which obviously the current is always in amps. So take a moment to calculate that and write that number down. The total current through the system is 5 amps. Hopefully you calculated that. Now the current through each light bulb is half that because here the two are together and then it splits up half, half. So we have the current through one light bulb is the total current divided by two. So that will be five divided by two. You now have all the information to calculate the power of your second light bulb.